I really can't believe it, but it has been five years, you guys, since I first went vegan. Time has flown. I cannot believe that it has been five years. I mean, I can make a whole video on five years as a vegan, but I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go there in this video. I've pretty much tried every vegan option that I've ever come across. Quite frankly, whenever I see the word vegan anywhere, I'm like instantly like <gasps> freaking out, throwing my money. I'm like, I have to have all of it in every flavor. I gotta try everything. Is anyone else like that? I mean, it's actually a really expensive hobby at this point. But since I've tried so much, I thought what better way to celebrate five years as a vegan than to make a video where I share with you guys the best of the best um, you could say the vegan creme de la creme. And you know, I also just want to showcase how freaking easy it is to be vegan in 2018. Easier than ever, easier than any other time in history to be vegan. Um, so what's your excuse? No, <laughs> this video is not going to be preachy. <laughs> We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. I'm just try trying to sprinkle a little positivity, you know, look at all of these options. There are so many options. So maybe, you know, take animals off your plate a little bit more and try some of these things. And then, you know, eventually just like stop eating them completely. <laughs> Okay, I know this is the world's longest intro and I personally hate when people ramble on in the intro So I don't know why I'm still freaking talking, but I do have two more things I just want to quickly like little disclaimer before we get into the video First thing I want to mention is that all of these items are marketed as vegan. I am not including accidental vegan items like Oreos and like that kind of stuff in this video because I mean I just want to I just want to help the companies that are actually proudly using the vegan label and kind of headed in that direction versus this like crap that's just accidentally vegan because they're too cheap to use real dairy. It's just gross like I don't really want to promote any food like that. And two, I know I have to say this because people will be all up on my case. Um, these food items are snacks. They are not staples in the vegan diet. They're processed. Most of these are junk. It should be eaten in moderation. This is not health food, okay? Vegans, just like non-vegans, we have our impulses. We have our things that like, as we're eating, we're like, I'm probably taking a week off my life. But you know what? It's, it's fine. Vegans need to have junk food too. Okay, that's it. The intro is over, guys. You made it, you survived. You probably skipped forward, but <laughs> if you didn't, congratulations. But let's get into the list. I think I have like 40 items, so you better like pull up a seat, have some tea, listen to this while you're putting your makeup on or something, just, it's gonna be a long one. I have to start with cheese because cheese is the most important thing. It is the biggest mistake you could possibly make when you go vegan, all right? You gotta find the right cheese. And I absolutely hate to talk shit, but I just have to warn you guys, do not, do not, do not, do not go out and get Daya cheese. It is so bad. I don't care what anyone says. I don't know how people think that cheese is good or okay even. It's not. It's gross. Um, Dea, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but please take a note and reformulate similar to Follow Your Heart and Field Rose because they've got it down. I don't know what you guys got going on, but it's just not working out. Um, and it's a shame that they are the most popular selection. Like they're the easiest to find. Usually if you go to like a pizza place, like 800 degrees, they use it. And I'm just like, oh man, no. Now my absolute favorite, and you'll be able to tell by how much I have of it, is the follow your heart slices, okay? Wow, I literally like this cheese more than I ever liked real cheese which is crazy because I was pretty into cheese. It comes in quite a few flavors. My personal favorite is the smoked Gouda. You can tell because there's just one little sad, lonely slice left here. It's so good. Um, I also have garden herb, pepper jack, and I did have some American until I made a grilled cheese with it because that is my favorite cheese to make a grilled cheese with. All right, moving on, next we have cream cheese. So for cream cheese, my favorite is Kite Hill. I actually don't know of any other brands that are vegan and 
even moderately good. <laughs> so be careful. Uh, Kite Hill, this is the chive flavor. Really, really good. You'll see it has lots of chives in it. I love putting this on an everything bagel. Ooh. Next we have yogurt. And there are actually quite a few good vegan yogurt alternatives, but by far, and I mean by far, I've tried about like, I wanna say five of them. Out of the five, without a doubt, Kite Hill is the winner. It's so good. I love this more than I love real yogurt. I know that's kind of annoying that I keep saying that, but, but I'm being honest. I really, really love these. They're very creamy. They're almost kind of like a liquid cheesecake. They have a cheesecake type flavor and fluffiness, and I just mm, love. And it's always a good way to get in a little bit of probiotics, all of that. Cannot recommend these enough. But back to the cheese. I got a few more cheese products. Um, Miyoko's mozzarella is also a very good cheese if you want to make a pizza or if you want to shred it up, put it in a salad. Um, sadly, the little one that I had in my fridge is now covered in mold. <laughs> At least you know there's not a whole lot of preservatives going on. This cheese is so good on pizza. I like to shred this and make this on a pizza with some vegan sausage. Mmm, perfect. So I'm really curious, have you guys ever tried vegan cheese and what did you think? I'm asking my non-vegan viewers as well. Um, I would love to know if maybe you tried Dea and was like, vegan cheese is gross. Um, what was your experience or what kind did you try? What did you think about it? I'm very curious to know. Now we're talking mayo. This is so good, okay? I've only tried a few of the vegan mayos. I've tried um, Hampton Creek, which was pretty good, and I've tried Follow Your Heart, which is great. This is still, in my opinion, the best because they use aquafaba, which if you didn't know what that was, I think it's aquafaba, aquafaba. I don't know, that sounds like I said it wrong. Anyway. It's chickpea secretion. <laughs> Doesn't sound sexy, but, but it's really good. So chickpeas um, release this kind of fluid that when whipped becomes insanely light and fluffy. So I did not word that in an appealing way. I'm sorry, but that's just, that's what it is. So this is a super light, fluffy mayo. Tastes exactly like normal mayo, except you're not eating dairy. And it's really good on everything. It makes me want sandwiches. And as a vegan, sandwiches are kind of something that goes because meat and cheese and you know, it's just, I don't know. But whenever I have this, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll get, go get like some vegan lunch meat and just have a little classic sandwich. This next thing is definitely in my top five. Like if you only, I'll, I'll try to note the, my top five throughout this video, but if you can only try five things, this is in my top five, guys. <sighs> Follow your heart, vegan Thousand Island dressing. Oh my God, I put this on everything. I'm not exaggerating. I could honestly eat spoonfuls of this, but I won't because it's really high in fat. <laughs> but oh my God, it's so good. The thing that I like to put this on, I mean, I, I truly put it on everything. Sandwiches, burgers, uh, can't think of anything else, which is not really supporting my point that I put it on everything. <laughs> But one kind of creative way that I like to use this is to make animal style fries inspired by In-N-Out. So I get like some fries, some grilled onions, slather this all over it, and then melt some shredded cheese. Oh my God. Moving on to much more exciting things. Um, ice cream. So with vegan ice cream, there's really none of it that I've tried that I've been like, oh my God, this is gross. Um, but as far as ice cream that is most like real ice cream, I think the award hands down goes to Ben and & Jerry's and they have so many flavors and I think they're doing really well because they just keep pushing out more, which makes me so, so, so excited. But anyway, these are my two current favorites, peanut butter and cookies and Cherry Garcia. I love chocolate cherry anything. This is just so good. Another ice cream treat that I absolutely love is Luna and Larry's Salted Caramel Bars. Wow, this is pretty much like a Magnum bar, but vegan, you know, as you can imagine, 
really good. One last ice cream product and then we will get into meat. And there's a lot of meat, so hope you're ready for that. Um, anyway, one more ice cream thing. These are cones. They are from the brand Tofuti. Tofuti? Tofuti. Tofuti. That just, just doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. I gotta say, these are not like holy shit good. They're probably about like a 7.5 out of 10, but I chose to include them because for me, um, ice cream cones or like drumstick cones are something that remind me of my childhood. And for that reason, I really, really, really enjoy these. There's a lot of mock meat on the market that I think is just so good. And I know I'm gonna have my non-vegans out there be like, if you're vegan, why do you like, why do you want to still eat meat? And it's like, I am, I have never said that meat does not taste good, okay? It's just, I don't think my taste buds are more important than someone's life. That's just me. If I, I mean, if I can get some burgers that no one had to die for and it tastes like a burger, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way. You do you, I'll do me, but like, I'm gonna go this way. So I'm gonna start with what I consider to be kind of like the king of vegan meat right now, and that is the Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger. This is crazy. You can actually find this in the meat refrigerator section of your grocery store. Crazy. They like made it look like real meat and like the little tray and everything. This product freaks me out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I've been eating this for years, ever since Veggie Girl started serving it up before it was in the stores. And I don't know, I love it, but there's something about the flavor of it that almost makes me feel like a little weird about it. I almost just feel like it's too similar to meat. I mean, if, if a non-vegan tried it, they would say it's not like meat. But as a vegan, somebody who hasn't had meat in years, when I taste this, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a burger. Like, this is real. So whenever I make this, I like to just kind of like fry it up, put it on a burger. I like to do a pretzel bun, Thousand Island dressing, you already know it. Some pickles, some tomatoes. Mm. Oh, and some smoked Gouda cheese. Don't forget that follow your heart smoked Gouda. All right, I really got to start moving faster because I know you guys do not want to listen to me talk about vegan food for an hour. Or do you? Because I can make that happen. Okay, so next we have Tofurky Italian Sausage. These are just little sausage logs that I like to chop up coin style and put into my pasta. Just to kind of give it a little something extra. I think the flavor is really good. I think this tastes a lot like real sausage. Hot dogs, guys. Hot dogs, yes. Even if you're vegan, you don't have to give up your barbecue time with your friends. I never hesitate, I mean, I don't really have friends, but when I did, <laughs> I, would <laughs> I would never hesitate to bring these with me to a barbecue, be like, give me my own section, I don't wanna be next to your meat, but like, you know, I'm gonna throw my dogs up there. These are the ones that I would always get. They are the Eve's Veggie Cuisine Veggie Dogs. They say vegan right on them. They're pretty similar to a real hot dog. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, a real hot dog is just a bunch of gross shit blended up, put in a tube, you know? So it's really not that hard to replicate. <laughs> it's, hot dogs are so gross. If you are still eating hot dogs, honestly, you need to reevaluate things because hot dogs are fucking gross. Probably one of the most versatile food items in the mock meat department is Guardian's ground beef. You can put this in tacos, you can put this in lasagna, you can put this in nachos, you can put this in meatloaf, you can put this in shepherd's pie, you can put this in... <laughs> I would love to keep going, but I'm not that smart. Anyway, um, my personal favorite way to enjoy these is to put them in a skillet with a little bit of tomato paste and taco seasoning and make some crunchy tacos. Mmm, pile this, some... Uh, shredded cheese, follow your heart, comes in a block, you can shred it up. Uh, shredded cheese, guacamole, uh, lettuce, tomatoes, whatever you want, some taco sauce on top. Ooh. Next we have another one of my top five. So if you're writing these down, here we go, top five. Are you ready? Gardein's Fishless Filets. Holy shit, okay. I actually never loved fish or seafood in general before being vegan. And I mean, I still don't cause I don't eat seafood, but 
these are my obsession oh my god so good just in the toaster oven with some tartar sauce and some fries just kind of fish and chip style or if you want to get really creative make some fish tacos with these so just bake them kind of slice them in half some cabbage some pico some avocado some chipotle mayo mm. are you guys like drooling yet because that's a really good dinner chicken vegan chicken really really easy it's probably the most popular vegan item when you go to like a veggie grill is like chicken because it's so good and it's so realistic I'm gonna start with the classic and yes you'll notice i'm shouting out gardein a lot because gardein is in my opinion the best uh brand for mock meat okay we got the gardein crispy orange chicken hello this is like so fail proof you can't mess up orange chicken it's just one of those things that everyone in the world loves if there's anyone out there that doesn't like orange chicken please prove me wrong <laughs> because i know it's just like one of those things that everybody loves even chibi loves no i think they're fine hey i love to make this as a quick easy lazy meal i just do some frozen brown rice some frozen stir fry veggies and then pop this in the skillet for 10 minutes done I have quite a few chicken things, so I'm gonna move a little bit faster. Chicken tenders. Okay, everybody needs chicken tenders. That's just like a staple, all right? That is a basic. I know I said that th th these items weren't um, staples, but <laughs> this is kind of a staple. I love having this with honey mustard. If you wanna get creative, you can put it in like a chicken wrap or like uh, chop it up and put it on top of a salad. Just a lot of stuff you can do with this. Another chicken thing that, you know, this is important, uh, chicken patties. Yeah, so my favorite way to eat this is actually like a, um, I've copied it from Veggie Grill and it's like a buffalo burger. So you roll this in buffalo sauce, some mozzarella cheese, some mashed avocado, some ranch, ranch, yes, ranch. Beef jerky, yes, vegans have their own beef jerky. You guys thought that you, you could think of something that you have that we don't, but try me no there's lots of things but <laughs> but beef jerky is something weird that it's vegan so this is from Louisville vegan jerky it's a limited edition special one it's pineapple sweet and sour I'm honestly grossed out by this usually vegan meat stuff doesn't gross me out but like this is just kind of like low-key smells like dog treats <laughs> but it is really good and my boyfriend really likes this so I know guys have like a thing with beef jerky, so if you're vegan and you're a guy or you're dating a guy, maybe try giving him this. <laughs> maybe makes him feel a little bit more like a man because you know, you have to be eating meat to be a man apparently. Tofurky lunch meat slices. Um, this actually isn't that great. <laughs> it's really not. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It's not that great. I probably shouldn't have included it in this video. But why I did is because sometimes you just want a sandwich, you know? As a vegan, sometimes I just want a little nice toasted sandwich. And my, my actually my favorite thing to make with this is a Reuben. So I take some rye bread, I put this, I put some cheese, I put some sauerkraut, I put some Thousand Island dressing. You know, I'm always getting in with that Thousand Island dressing, guys. Um, and it's really good. Now, when you're eating it, you can't can't really taste the meat. You can taste everything else. You can taste the flavors. You can taste the texture. Can't really taste the meat. And like, that's fine, you know? So, but it's really good for sandwiches. Now you guys saw that clip earlier of when I made the pizza and I put the mozzarella and the sausage. And you're probably wondering, is that real sausage? Because that looks real. Of course it wasn't real. It was this sausage. It is from Upton's Naturals and it's chorizo. So, good guys this tastes so freaking real i know i was telling you how like the vegan sausage tastes really real because they use all the same spices and stuff as real sausage but wow 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 this is so good on pizza it crumbles up really nicely yes and last but not least for the meat we have some garden meatballs absolutely need a meatball in your life so I actually had tried these a long time ago, but this past Christmas, I went to Joey and Daniel's Christmas party and Daniel put these in a slow cooker 
with just some pasta sauce. So basic, right? But like I ate all of them. I was like, whoa, this is like activated some like, it, it just made them even better. And I never thought of just eating them as like an appetizer, but like, whoa, so good. I mean, obviously they're also really good just in like spaghetti or pasta, but they're really good. Just slow cooked in some pasta sauce and they like fall apart in your mouth. Mm. Also, I feel like it's worth noting that everybody else at that party was freaking out about those and eating them. And they're vegan. I don't think anyone even knew. Next category is quick meals and snacks. Now, this I actually had for dinner last night, which is why it's empty. <laughs> but this is the Kite Hill Spinach and Ricotta Ravioli. This is definitely a bit of a splurge. I want to say this is, I think, eight or ten dollars but it's really good for like a date night if you want to serve something kind of fancy does not taste vegan at all the ricotta cheese is just so 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 tasty then we have some microwavable dinners everybody needs these in their freezer for that rare situation where you just you know you can't bring yourself to move do anything other than pop something in the microwave we all have those moments i think um, my favorite are Amy's frozen meals and I love the pad thai. Vegan mac and cheese. Yes, this is a thing. This actually exists and this is in my opinion the best one you can possibly buy. It is from Annie's. It's really good. Doesn't taste exactly like normal boxed mac and cheese. It is definitely different. It's definitely vegan. <laughs> but it's still really, really, really good. I like to serve this up with broccoli because I feel like the broccoli and cheese flavor combo is really nice. And then it also makes me feel like I'm not doing something really bad by having my entire meal be mac and cheese. Get a little greens in there, you know what I'm saying? One little convenient junk food that I absolutely love are the Gardein Beefless Sliders. These are like little burgers, Love putting my Thousand Island, a little bit of cheese, a tomato, maybe a pickle. So, so good. Now, I mean, these don't taste like beef. If anything, I would say these taste like, you know, one of those um, like school cafeteria beef pressed patties. But I don't know, for some reason, I really, really, really like those. Mini corn dogs. Can you guys handle this? There are vegan mini corn dogs. This is actually kind of a new item. It's from Field Roast. Mini corn dogs. I don't even think I need to elaborate. <laughs> mini corn dogs. And they taste really real. Last thing in this category is the Sweet Earth Big Sur Breakfast Burrito. This is a great morning food. If you're in a huge hurry, pop it in the microwave. It's loaded with protein, 17 grams of protein because you got your tofu, you got your potatoes. Um, seitan, like it's so good and I just love dousing it in ketchup. I just put ketchup all over it. Literally, I'm like one of those people with ketchup as I like take a bite, I put more ketchup. <laughs> Anyone else? Just me. Now we're gonna move on to chips and dip. I have quite a few vegan chips that I really like. The first one that I just need to give a shout out to is the Earth Balance Vegan Cheddar Squares, or should I say Vegan Cheddar Flavor Squares because they're not cheddar. Um, these are supposed to be like Cheez-Its, obviously. They are so, 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 so good. Oh my gosh, so addicting, love. Then another thing from Earth Balance are these vegan aged white cheddar flavor puffs. Okay, these are basically like, I don't wanna say like Cheetos because they're not like Cheetos, but they're just like little puffs. And the reason why I love these, truly the main reason, is because it kind of brings my like dream alive of eating uh, styrofoam puffs. <laughs> Do you ever just like get a package and get the styrofoam and there's just something so satisfying about that like, th that, that like texture, that consistency of it, like pushing against your fingers that you just want to pop it in your mouth and chew on it? Was that an episode of My Strange Addiction? Anyway, <laughs> you can live your fantasy with these because they're literally like little packing peanuts covered in salt. So good, so addicting. Mm. I could easily eat the whole bag right now. Next we have Bean Fields um, Nacho Bean and Rice Chips. These are essentially 
healthy vegan Doritos. They don't taste like Doritos, but they have that kind of like nacho flavor, lots of salt, really good. And I would say this is the best alternative to Doritos for a vegan. And last thing we have is the Miyoko's Vegan Cheese Wheel and Sun-Dried Tomato and Garlic. This is just like a soft cheese that I like to spread on crackers. This is also something that would be really good to put on like a cheese platter for a party. The flavor in this is so intense. It's really just like a jam-packed cheese, jam-packed with flavor. <laughs> anyway, I don't got time. I don't got time or energy to refilm that. So you you just take that for what it is. All right, guys, we have arrived at the final category. You have made it. If you've sat through this whole thing, you deserve to be at this point. We're talking sweets, guys. Sweets. Mm. First thing. This is definitely in my top five. I realized I kind of stopped doing the top five thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else would be in it. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I actually, I will compile my top five and I will put it in the caption for you guys. Um, the caption, the, um, I'm losing my mind. The description. <laughs> Another top five item though are the Unreal Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. Oh my God, those are so good. Now I also like Justin's but why I prefer Unreal over Justin's is that the peanut butter inside is creamy and like so soft. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. This is like, I could eat 10 bags of these. I really could. Can I have one now? Can I have one? Do you guys mind? I really like, I'm really hungry. I actually didn't eat before filming this, which was a huge mistake. Mm. If you guys, could veganize any candy, what would you want veganized? Because there's actually not a lot of vegan candy on the market. It's really lacking. And I hope I live to see the day when all of the like normal candy bars become vegan. Me personally, I would want um, Frere Rocher. That was like my favorite candy before I was vegan. So I wish those would become vegan. Or just like Nutella in general, oh my God. Some more candy. Um, probably my favorite candy bar is from Nomad and it is the creamy coconut milk chocolate bar. I love this because most vegan chocolate bars are just by default dark chocolate because it's chocolate with no milk in it. But this has coconut milk and it's very, very similar to milk chocolate. My cats are getting into something. Bookie, book us on. Last candy I want to touch on is gummy candy because if you didn't know, normal gummy candy typically is not vegan because it's made with gelatin. Gelatin is, if you don't know, it's just, just know it's, it's not pretty and you don't want to eat it, all right? It's like boiled tendons and bones and skin. You don't want it. You don't want it. I can't even believe it's a thing, okay? Like, just trust me when I say you don't want it. So vegan gummy candy, I think the best of the best is from a brand called Wholesome. They have sour worms, they have little fish, which are pretty much like Swedish fish. And then they also have watermelon rings, which I really wanted to get for this video and try. Sorry, are you guys being annoyed that I keep eating? Um, I really wanted to try those watermelon rings, but haven't had a chance to get them yet. Mmm. Fuck, that's good. And then we have Amy's Sunny Coconut and Roasted Almond Chocolate Bar. This is essentially like an Almond Joy, just coconut chocolate almonds. Really classic, can't go wrong. And then we have these Whoopie Pies. These are chocolate cake with raspberry frosting. They're from the brand The Piping Gourmets. So good, oh my God. Just the chocolate and raspberry combo, guys. Yes, we have reached the final item in the bag. Wow, it is the Hail Mary Coconut Vanilla Cream Tart. This is basically like a little mini coconut cream pie, or like cheesecake kinda, cause it's a little more dense than a cream pie, but very good, very fancy little dessert to kind of like, if you have a dinner party or something, to like sit out or put on a tray. Well, that's it guys. We made it to the end. Um, be sure to let me know if I missed something. 
I feel like I'm the vegan queen and I've tried everything, but like I want to know what did I miss? Let me know in the comments. Um, and maybe I will do a video like this every year. Maybe not this big. I don't know though, because there's so much vegan food coming out. Like it's really speeding up. Things are really speeding up and it's amazing to see. So maybe I will do a video like this every year, kind of shouting out what I think the best stuff on the market is to make sure that everybody's, you know, going down the right path. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna go eat probably all of this. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I really can't believe it, but no, no, no. <sighs> Let's get his hair flipping. Gotta keep the hair fluffy. This is how it works. <laughs> I do have two more things. I just wanna quickly, like, little disclaimer before we get into the video. I mean, we're already in the video, but you know what I mean? Like, before we get into like, I was gonna say the meat of the video, but that, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh my God, my cat's pooped. Buki, oh my God. Buki's poops, honestly, if you guys could smell through this camera, lethal. <laughs> 